Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. Um, to be honest, I feel like Florida State did a lot of good things this year. <clears throat> and I'm not counting the Georgia game. I mean, whatever it is, what it is. Overall, great defense. But what I feel like they need to improve on for 2024 is the running game needs to be more consistent. And you should rely on something more than a, a quarterback to run a lot, you know. Um... Because the running game was decent, but I do remember quite a few games, Trey Benson and whoever played running back had a hard time getting going because of the run blocking. You know, in 2022, the one of the bright spots were the was a running game. They were able to run the football on almost anybody that they played, including Clemson that year. Um, I so I, I think FSU's run game needs to be much more dominant than what it was. Uh, another thing offensively, your receiving game was really good with Wilson and Coleman and Bell and all those guys. You got to have much less drop passes. That was a big problem in the passing game. You know, Jordan Travis would make good throws. And even with the other guys like Rodemaker and even Brock Glenn, they made some good throws when they did have to throw the football. And Coleman, or mainly Wilson, dropped a lot of passes and made it look worse than what it was with the passing production. So that has got to get better. Um, third down offensively has also got to get a lot better for FSU if I'm Florida State. Um... I think they were in the high 30s, low 40s in the country and converting third downs. Uh, that's not going to get you to a national championship win or anything like that if you have a hard time doing that when you're playing another team in the playoff or even in your conference championship and possibly in the future, you know, who happens to be good in those areas. So that has got to be cleaned up if I'm Florida State. Um, talent's not an issue. They recruit pretty well, and they've been hitting the transfer portal pretty hard lately, so that won't be a problem. Uh Honestly, defensively, the only problem I saw, the only weakness or anything remotely close to that was consistent run defense because they would give up a lot in the first half running, and I think they gave up 130-something yards a game. That's not terrible. That's pretty good. Heck of a lot better than what it was in 22, but it was still a weakness that a team like, I think, Michigan could have exploited if they had to play them. And not to say they couldn't have beat Michigan or they could have or anything like that, but I'm just making an example out of something that would concern me if Florida State were to be in a playoff game or a conference championship or to play a real big rivalry game or a top five, top ten matchup and the other team happens to be a really good running team. So other than that, before the Georgia game, Florida State was actually the best in the country at not turning the ball over. And they actually protected their quarterbacks pretty good throughout the year. You know, So I don't see a whole lot wrong with Florida State, obviously. It's just the small things that will make the difference between you winning the championship against another team that's great also. So that's pretty much it. That's my opinion on that, you know.